So I post weekly comics on my Instagram at MewTripled as well as traditionally published comics, meaning I have to create a lot of art. And on top of that, I also have to make videos here on YouTube, which means in order to post things consistently, I have to work fast. So first and foremost, this video is sponsored by Torbox, who is also partnering with XP Pen. They reached out to me to try out their products and make a video review on these tools and let you know what I honestly think so that you can see if a tool like this is right for your art making process. So I've never been the type to use a controller to supplement my art making process, but with the need to expedite my workflow lately due to the fact that I'm on crunch time with my book and I'm trying to amp up my weekly comic posts, I felt like it wouldn't hurt to just try something new and see if it really affects my workflow speed. In addition to that, I thought it would be nice to have a smaller tablet to have in case that I may be working somewhere other than my office someday, especially with my parents moving recently, I could bring this to their house. Or if you're somebody who just started in your art career or you're an art student, this is a good option to consider if you don't want to overly invest too much upfront. So without further ado, let's see if the Tor Box and XP Pen together really help me work faster and more efficiently. The Tor Box really shined the most when I moved onto the coloring stage of my comics because here's why. Coloring is the phase of my comics that I have the most back and forth between keyboard keys and shortcuts to adjust the brush size, color in between the lines, and color pick. So my coloring process went like whoop because this is a pretty big deal for me because coming from a storyboarding world where color is rarely used, this made me feel less anxious about pumping out comics at a weekly rate and I do feel confident that maybe with time drawing line art with this tool will eventually speed it up as well. So this is the Torbox Elite, which comes in three colors, which are black, white, and translucent. I was honestly happy to receive the white colored one since I'm tired of having tech that's all just silver or black. It looks cute. So that can motivate me to try to use it more. Essentially, the Torbox is a compact controller that has these built-in buttons and features that could help you improve your workflow and work faster. So when I received the Torbox, I decided to use it for my Instagram comic that I received posted and you can read it here down in the links below. So when starting to use it, I will say that there was a bit of a learning curve in understanding the app and memorizing its features, but it only really took me about four to five hours to set up and memorize more than half of the shortcuts. If you don't know where to start, you can actually just try the functions listed in the console one by one in each corresponding software like Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, etc., to understand the logic easier. For me personally, I I like going full customization, so it's up to you with how you'd like to approach it. The thing I like the most about the Tor Box is that it's more ergonomic than using a keyboard. I recently have been experiencing cramps on my left hand because of how I have to bend my wrist to reach certain shortcuts when I do my comics, but I'm able to stretch out my arm and leave my hand in one place when using the Tor Box. I like how it covers across multiple apps that I use, so I can use it for Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, and Final Cut Pro, which are the primary apps I use to create all of my comics and videos on YouTube. You can turn on the auto switch and link the respective apps to which ones listed in the bar so that anytime you open the app on your desktop, it will automatically detect it so you don't have to go in and press the app you're using all the time. Again, it does take time to familiarize yourself with new shortcuts that you set for certain buttons, but thankfully there is a guide on Torbox that you can pull up and leave on your screen to memorize them. I would say that by the second day of using it, I had already memorized more than half of the keys I set for myself, and some of the tools I found the most helpful were the knob, dial, and scroll to control brush size, rotate, and zoom in, using the top button as the shift key to select multiple things, combining keys such as the side and short to save my work. And another pro is having the macro option where you can basically set multiple actions for one key like copy, then paste in place in a new layer. Although I will say I didn't really use that option much for my personal workflow, but the option is there if you have a lot of actions you would like to just put into a one button. All of these things I enjoyed using without having to move my hand back to my keyboard or dragging my mouse around. I was even able to use it for video editing, which is really helpful because I rely a lot on scrolling through the video and adding markers to edit and 
and add b-roll. I worked a bit slower when doing the line art for my comic because I was taking the time to only use the tour box without touching my keyboard at all because I'm pretty serious about creating a more efficient workflow for the amount of projects that I juggle. So perhaps in the future, I can make an update video on how my workflow has improved after using the tour box for a longer period of time. So moving on, I'm gonna talk about the XP Pen tablet, which I was sent over the Artist 15.6 Pro tablet, which actually surpassed my expectations because let me be real for a second. If you're an artist on YouTube with a decent presence, you've most likely been reached out to by all of these tablet companies that you eventually grow skeptical of because some of these tablets honestly are cheap and are more of a hassle to deal with than bigger named brand ones. However, I can happily say that I do think the XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro tablet is worth it because the quality of it is quite comparable to other big name tablet brands out there, but at a more affordable price. This one is around $370, which is honestly a steal. If you were to buy both this and the Tor Box together, you would still probably spend less than you would on a traditional big tablet. And if you are someone that prefers to move around a lot with your tablet, this is a pretty good size to have. In addition, to the fact that there is only one USB-C slot on the side that holds all the other wires instead of having so many wires attached to the tablet itself. So if you're worried about organization on your desk, this is a good option to have. I also will say upon installing the driver for the tablet, I haven't changed any of the pen settings at all. And a part of me kind of enjoyed it more because the sensitivity allowed me to draw looser. This is always adjustable to your own needs, but I'm just saying for what I needed to do. The only critique I'll have for it is that the stand does sit a little bit too low for my preference as I usually work with my tablet screens sitting up a little bit more. It's not the end of the world, but if you're someone who also likes your tablet a little bit more upright, you might need to get your own stand for it. So overall, the benefits of incorporating something like the Tor Box in my workflow were less hand cramping, spending less time moving my cursor, hitting keyboard shortcuts for tools. The Tor Box wireless Bluetooth ability is really nice to eliminate wires on my desk and the ability to make your own presets for shortcuts without setting each one individually helps. You can even export presets from one app into another like Clip Studio Paint presets to Photoshop and speeding up workflows such as coloring and video editing. I will say some things I would consider are not that the tablet stand was a part of the tablet itself, but I am not used to drawing with the screen angled so low and depending on your using habits, there might be a bit of a learning curve for you to memorize and experiment with a tour box. So I would say during the first time you use it, try to create something simple to test things out. The price of the tour box might be high to some, but there are different products out there like the tour box Neo and tour box Elite, which you can choose from based on your needs. And at the end of the day, I find that using the tour box helped my coloring and video editing process go a lot faster, which is great because these are the two responsibilities I'd say are my least favorite when it comes to creating. I can focus more on things I love like drawing, writing, and storytelling if I speed enough the elements that rely more on my shortcuts, buttons, and whatnot. So I was honestly skeptical about these tools since I've been pretty comfortable with my pre-existing workflow, but I will say that I'm going to actively start using it in my workflow to color my comics and edit my videos, which have been a hassle lately. <laughs> and I'm not in a place where I myself can just hire a colorist or editor just yet. So I would say it's a worthy investment for your creation, especially if you need to put your art out on a consistent schedule like I do. So if you're interested in getting these products yourselves, I do have an affiliate code linked down below where a purchase you make would help me earn a commission to continue supporting this channel. And I would also make sure to do your own proper research and check out other video reviews out there and see if this is for you because everyone's situation and art creation process is different. But if you do already have experience with tools like these, please let me know in the comments below what you do for your workflow so that I can consider it for mine as well. But yeah, anyway, thank you to Torbox for sponsoring today's video and making videos like this possible. If you'd like to check other videos out, you can check them out on my channel at Mutripled for more art career tips, advice, and more. Anyway, I'll see you there.